Hey everyone, it's Kelly the Frugal Fun Mum here in Adelaide, Australia. Welcome to the channel and to today's video where I thought we would go thrift shop shopping again. So come with me as we head into the Salvo store that's near one of the places that I shop to have a look around. I often stop in here about once a week just to have a look even though I'm on a no buy but I can look without buying. <laughs> I can hold the temptation but I thought today I would take you for a little look through. So first of all I love that they have a weekly tag offer this week is yellow I don't always look out for the color tags um, because if I see something I know I have to get it otherwise I'm going to miss out but sometimes you can get lucky they will hold items for about 24 hours if you really find something that you love but apart from that um, yeah, you got to grab it when you see it. <laughs> just checking out some of the jewelry that's here and that was just um, actually a bangle from Avon. <laughs> so I recognize that straight away. And I always have a look at the ladies designer clothing. Not that I would wear any, but I like to see all the bling. These boots caught my eye. Zisha, these would be for you. Pink boots. <laughs> Very cool. So many of these pieces of clothing are pretty much brand new as well. I love this little vintage display of the radio with the frame and the flowers. It just looks so gorgeous. And this lamp, oh, so pretty. Of course, it's a store only item, therefore, to make a display look good, but still, you can't help but drool. Looking at this clothing, and it looks like a company has donated their end of line stock because these are still brand new with tag, but you could get a very very excellent piece of clothing for such a great price i loved this poncho even though winter is coming but i probably just wouldn't wear it and again i'm in a no buy year so i'm really trying to cut back on the things that i purchase i love this little nook in the store it's like a craft and everything area so there is crafting items there's wool there's buttons there's pins there's party items that you can see here there's pens and pencils decorations you name it it is in this area I love this little design that says welcome I thought that would look so cute in my garden but trying to control myself and then these gardening gloves gave me a laugh they have like some claws or something on the end of them I think for digging oh, <laughs> oh the things that marketing people come up with seriously oh gosh so funny all right here we have a tapestry frame and I always laugh when I'm in op shops because I see people forever in Facebook groups go where can I buy these things and they're often at spotlight looking for stuff and they're yeah triple the price of what you can get in op shops I always say check out op shops because you'll pretty much always find something that you need including things that you didn't know were in there a little boxing ball that you sit on a table and and oh, the wool is always so good in here, especially if you're just looking for a little piece or to finish something off or make something small. I took a photo of these Adelaide Crows coffee mugs and tagged two Aussie thrifters because I know he is a big Crows fan. And these glasses made me laugh. Unicorn juice. I've often seen them as labelled mummy juice. <laughs> so good for wine I love the display that salvos have because they color coordinate so they go through a range of blues and whites reds yellows browns greens back to whites they have silver yeah a whole range of colors I think it looks so pleasing to the eye as you kind of run through all the shelves this little Buddha on the shelf looked so cute. I thought he would look amazing in my garden, but I thought, look, until I finish the garden, I'm just not going to purchase anything. And these vintage looking ice cream cone cups, again, I thought, oh, but I'm pretty sure there's one missing. I'm pretty sure there's a green one that's meant to be in the set. So as well, I didn't purchase it because it wasn't a full set. 
I always have a look at the men's clothing just in case there's any pieces there that I think would fit my son really well but there was nothing here today quite a small selection actually and there's always so many cute little knickknacks for weddings or poems and plaques like this that you could give as a great gift so if you're ever looking for any wedding decor or little things to give check out an op shop someone's obviously donated it from cleaning out their house so why not re-gift it and give it a new home i loved this vintage little glass set it's got like a maple pourer sugar pourer salt and pepper shakers and i'm not sure what the other one is but um, i remember my grandma having something similar in her house tupperware is always in op shops and there is such a massive vintage range whatever you are looking for it is here and i love again how it is all color coordinated this mug caught my eye i used to have one growing up i think it's called a frosty mug uh, you basically put the yellow bit inside the freezer and then you pour cordial or something inside of it and as the mug defrosts the inside of it starts freezing uh, this caught my eye a banana carrier I have no idea this chair in this op shop has been here forever and a day and they have a sign on it that says not for sale shop only <laughs> because I am sure that just about every man and his dog goes how much for the chair and it's funny I hardly ever see anybody actually sit on this and read a book it just looks so awesome and yeah I think for sure if they were listing this as an item for sale they would sell like 10 times over easily into the book area and this is one of my most favorite places to look it gives me some ideas to check out things in the library but also i'm always curious to see sort of older books and what they look like so this range from mark twain caught my eye i know some buyers that would be interested in those and then i thought this was a whole literature shelf but it quickly turned into other material <laughs> and then this area was just a bit of a fashion type area but I did see this book catch my eye kings and queens of England and Great Britain this book would have been super helpful two years ago my son actually did his research project on this very subject starting at William the Conqueror and going through to present day all of the monarchy of the United Kingdom and we learned so much about diseases back then and the accidents that happened for people to take the throne so much I think it really got him hooked into history and literature for sure this book caught my eye because it's about Catherine the Queen I'm always into books that are like royal based like that so of course I've taken a picture and I'll check out to see if it's at my library but yeah it was all about her life and just other facts and figures it looks so good so here's another book that caught my eye because I saw something about a queen <laughs> and I love reading stories like this. I know they're all made up but I figure there's got to be some truth about the royal courts and this book Lana's War I've been seeing it everywhere at Spotlight I saw it in Big W now I've seen it here so I'm definitely going to stick it on my must-have reading and of course this book caught my eye because it's Secrets of the Tudor Court. I love reading about king henry i know he wasn't a nice man but you know it's history it's something good to read about i saw this poster was two dollars and spotted it straight away figuring it was a doctor who poster and i was correct but unfortunately i couldn't really tell what it was it was all wrapped up and we have heaps of posters so i didn't bother purchasing it and then just having a look at the picture frames that were here someone's already made that needle point it must have taken them hours and then so many of the other pictures here they all looked so good i thought i could easily find a spot for those in my home Hmm. <laughs> but again, I mean, a no bias. I'm trying to be good. Thank you so much for joining with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you like to go op shopping and what's your favorite find. Subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of our Frugal Fun family. And as always, I look forward to seeing you next time.
Bye.